The war of words between ODA members of parliament and those allied to Deputy President William Ruto continues to escalate as either side defend their masters after a scathing attack on Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho by his Nandi counterpart Stephen Sang. I urge the Deputy President not to be drawn into answering Joho who is a political conman, an academic dwarf, an all-round fraudster. In particular, we wish to remind Stephen, Honorable Stephen Sang that he is among those who collected evidence to jail President Uhuru and Ruto in the ICC and has struggled to cleanse his name ever since. He is a man haunted by his own ghost. He is therefore willing to do anything to prove his loyalty. Two weeks ago, Joho while in Busia County, in non certain towns, vowed to pour cold water on Ruto's team to State House, which has seemingly ignited the talk of his involvement in the illicit trade of trafficking drugs. Wewe William Ruto wacha kutuma vibaka wako. Ongea wewe mwenyewe. Kiwa kule Mombasa ita press conference. Wewe mwenyewe kama Joho. Kwanza uombe msamaa wa Kenya. Ya pili uombe msamaa wa Pwani. Ya tatu Useme kuanzia leo mimi nimesimamisha sifanye biashara ya gusa dawa tena nataka nifanye biashara mzuri ya kutengeneza barabara na kufanya supply ama na kazi zingine and it cannot be that anybody who does not support William Ruto is thrown at insults of the like we have seen thrown at our party leader deputy party leader governor Joe we saw the other day when Murathe said that uh, the dp cannot ascend to power he is now being called a political uh, conman when Governor Joho said that he himself is going for the big job and we as a party are going for the big job, he's now being called a drug peddler. That is an old line. We have noted a pattern where every time the Tangatanga -tanga movement lacks an agenda to sell for 2022, they resort to personal attacks on leaders they perceive to be threats of whoever is sponsoring them. We reject this kind of politics. It has no place in the current dispensation. Junet claims interior CS Fred Matiangi's elevation in the executive caved away Ruto's mandate, thus his team now coined as Tanga Tanga, was rendered idle and has no projects to commission in the country. As nominated member of parliament Godfrey Sotsi called on Governor Sang to concentrate on service delivery instead of politicking. County govern, uh, government of Nandi is, uh, is uh, neighboring my county of Vihiga. And I know county government of Nandi is full of corruption in employment, in procurement, and general corruption. And these are not my words. Even the senator of Nandi County, Samson Cherengay, has even said that this man has specialized in employing slay queens. You know, we have been quiet watching them. Can't you see now we have come? Tell them from today, we are ready for them. You know, we have, we have been on sabbatical. But now it looks like we have to call off that leave and come back to, to work. And we are back fully now, and we will deal with them perpendicularly. Joe has not taken the claims lightly, as he has already taken legal action against politicians, accusing him of involvement in the illicit business. Alan Ochanda for Every TV. Covered quite a bit. But